Hey guys, Eitan here from Bavegang Sound Design. In this video, I'll teach you how to use a secret tool that not many video creators know about. This tool is called a limiter. And it will allow you to increase the loudness of your mix while avoiding distortion. So what is a limiter? A limiter is a special type of compressor that drastically attenuates the peaks and audio signals that reach a specific value. This value can be called a threshold, ceiling, maximum amplitude, and so on, but it's basically the same. It's a value that we can control that stops any audio signal from exceeding it. So if, for example, you set it to minus two, there won't be any signal louder than minus two decibels that can pass the limiter in the signal flow. How can it help us? Here is an example of a voice recording. Success. No matter how we choose to define it, we all pursue it. All right, it sounds good. Let's add the music. Searching for that one road that leads us there. But the truth Sound is, effect. there is no road. No straight line from startup to unicorn. Each sector is its own journey. Each industry follows its own path. All right, so it sounds great. And as long as it's low in volume, everything is fine. But if I want to increase the loudness by increase the mix track volume, for example, right, so I'm increasing by 10 decibel or 13 decibel. And each stage along the way has its own obstacles to navigate through. So to reach your success, you need a... You can notice that the meter is starting to touch the ceiling and becoming red, which can lead to distortion, which sounds terrible. So let's go to the audio tab. So make sure you're on audio track mixer. Every audio track on the sequence is also represented in the mixer. And we want to focus on the mix track, which is an auxiliary channel where all the tracks are rooted. Now it's important to understand the signal flow. In a mixer, all the tracks are routed to the mix channel. This is how any mixer works. This means that the sound that is generated on a track will pass through the mix track to your audio interface that will transform this digital signal into an analog signal, which will then be converted into real sound in your speakers. Now, if you click that little arrow that says show hide effects and sends, it opens the inserts slots view where you can apply a plugin effect to a whole track. Let's assign a hard limiter to the mix track. I click the first slot, go to amplitude and compression and choose hard limiter. By inserting the limiter on the mix track, you can be sure that any sound that comes out of your software won't exceed the threshold and won't get distorted. I won't go into a deep explanation about what each setting is doing. I'll just give you a quick overview of what you should be looking for. The maximum amplitude is the maximum value that the signal is allowed to reach. I always set it to minus 0.1, which is the default value. That's it, you don't have to do anything beyond that to make sure you don't distort. Another feature of the limiter we talked about is to increase loudness. That means that you can also make your mix louder without any distortion. So let's bring the mix volume back to zero. What you live in. And let's increase the input boost. One that will help you pave your own road. You need a VC that is focused. As you see, I increased it by 10 dB without clipping. Let's just increase it a little bit more. On you, introducing the new Patango, the hyper-focused V. So as you can see, it didn't clip, all right? If these two are not red, it means that it didn't clip, which is good. But you shouldn't overdo it because your audio will sound compressed, really compressed and burned. So let's bring it back to 9 dB. Introducing the new Patango, the hyper-focused VC with three specialized Even seven, okay. Buns. Patango. That's good, that's a good level. It doesn't clip, it doesn't sound over-compressed, which is very important. And this is a good loudness to export. So that's it for this video. My name is Eitan from Bavegang Sound Design. 
We are an audio post-production studio and we make the ordering process of sound design so much easier. Go to our website, click order now, name your project, select the length of your video and tell us where it will be published. That's it, the price is automatically calculated and presented up front. Just send your files and you'll receive a stunning mix. See you next time.